Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. Today is episode number 330 of the Level Up program and day number 40 of the Black Belt. If you're new to the program, this is about my daily practicing of shooting the dice at the craps table as well as practicing a blue collar craps style of play. In the chat on YouTube, we've got Kevin Smith checking in. Number one, welcome back, my friend. We got Uncle Hoku, Marble Fork Ben, Wattage Live Craps, OMC Craps, and Lead em. So, good morning, everyone. So, it is uh, Monday morning. We got Red checking in from Michigan as well. Good morning. Uh, it is Monday morning. Um, and Two Wheel Paradise, good morning. Uh, Monday morning, we'll get this going here pretty soon here. Um, I worked last night, so we are a little bit tired, but we're gonna go with the 3236 dice set. This weekend, I did get to the casino on Saturday. I played for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I was kind of teeter-tottering up and down, up and down a little bit. Just played the six and eight, um, took one hit. I pressed it up to 30 each. Uh, by dropping three dollars and took another hit and then I would bring them back back down to 18 and then I would play a field bet as well as a, uh, a two dollar hop five take one hit pick up the five and then play a field until I got all the way across the 96 across and I get the 96 across a couple times uh, a couple times I got knocked off right after that a couple times I um, I did make some uh, decent money I also played a 2-1-2 two -on -two in the ATS uh, that's where I'm at with my bankroll level anyhow long story short up and down a little bit I did end up the night though with a positive $100 win so uh, paid for my $20 in gas plus an extra 80 bucks and change going back into the bankroll and I will share with you guys my progress with that bankroll uh, sometime in the future in a future video and that good morning Frida so anyway let's get started three two three six I am going to go with um, $15 pass line bet and we will call that all bet so we got 14 people in Crapsy, we got 14 people on YouTube, so perfect back and forth there. And we'll call that all that set here. Dice out. I'm going to be shooting from about, th about three inches, four inches closer to the back wall today. And um, one of the things I think I, I'm doing is my table is a little bit further away than where I shoot mostly at the casino. So dice out. And we got a two, three, five, justice five for our first roll of the day. So five will be our point. And something just fell off on the table there. So five is our first point here. Let's get that entered in the crapsy and we'll get the day started. Hopefully this is a better day. Last Friday was not a very successful day <laughs> on, the, uh, on the live stream here, but uh, we took a little bit of a hit, but it, it was, it was Friday, if you will. Saturday, when I went to the casino, I did shoot one time, and I got probably around that um, seven or eight mark. I shot from stick right one, uh, and that was the only time that I did get a chance to uh, throw the dice, if you will. So, anyhow, we are going to go um, 128 across. That's the four unit bet level. So we're going to go $20 on that 4, 9, and 10. We're going to go $24 on the 6 and 8. We are not going to do any pass line odds at the current moment. Up to 16 people on Crapsy now, 15 people on YouTube, and all bets set. That first one was a 2-3. Uh, so that was a single pitch on the left die and a primary on the right die. Dice out. And that left one was, I don't even know what that was on. That was on a three, but the right one kicked it over to the six. So we got OMC craps, all the dots and all the spots, midnight. So it was on a three, and then the right one came off the back one, kicked that left one to a six. So it would have been a primer on the left side and a single pitch on the right side, but we ended up with an explosion on that left side. 
and a single pitch on the right side. So we're gonna keep the same dice set. Um, not gonna really read too much into that because I actually did see that happen. So uh, keeping the same bets, that was no help for us. We will go all bets set here and dice out. So you look at the roll uh, counts on the top middle of the screen there. I'm at a plus nine for the across bets and a plus 13 for the inside bets. That's kind of interesting. And a plus five for the outside bets. Dice out. And we got three, five, eight, the great eight. So that'll be hit number one for us. <clears throat> And I have a light uh, that's up on my wall that I use for uh, lighting the table here as well as my green screen that I have when I do my edited videos. And I don't ever remember that light bulb being yellow. And it's kind of catching my eye as I'm throwing the dice and, and retrieving the dice. I don't know why it's catching my eye because that light's been up there for quite a long time. And just today it just kind of stands out, kind of weird. But anyhow, we are going to go to 160 cross. So that would be uh, uh, 27 um, um, pressure cross. Come on, mouse, better work. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna pick up $15 in pass line odds. So we're at $30 on the four, nine, and 10. We're at, um, Oh, wait a second, I went up too far. What am I thinking here? Um, we're gonna go to $25, I'm sorry, on the four, nine, and 10. We got $30 on a six and eight. We are gonna go with a $15 pass on odds. My mouse is hitting double of everything when I was pressing it. Uh, but the last one was a primer on the left side. We got a implosion on the right side. So that is a safe result for the cousin one set. And dice out. Come on, my mouse is not working. Ugh. Okay, here we go, dice out. And we have a 1-5 KitchenAid mixer. That is perfect, because that is the second hit that we were looking for, so that way we can get out of the shooter and we'll be at that break-even point or hopefully much better. Good morning, Jeff. Checking in this morning. Welcome back, my friend, to Level Up on a Monday morning. So we got $63 brought back to the rack. Let's bring our bets down. We'll go 60 on the outside. So that's gonna be $15 on that four, nine, and 10. The $15 on the pass line covers that five. Well, three, two, three, six. That last one was a uh, implosion of the left die and an implosion of the right die. So there's a double implosion. Both dice were off axis, which is not a normal roll for me as far as the results go. But we'll go all bets set here and dice out. And the dice kind of veered off to the right, hit the back wall and went to the left. But well, we got a 314 Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So four is hit there. That's perfect because we are doing outside bets with this one. So we're going to make that four look like uh, $25. And we're just going to start trend betting up the numbers that are hitting there. We got NC Tarkop checking in. Good morning. SJ's checking in. Good morning. Welcome, 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 everybody. On a Monday morning, it is tax day. So if you owe your taxes, make sure you get those sent in today. Um, if you get money back, hopefully you got it back already. Uh, but I got a small amount this year. Last year I had to pay in. This year I got a small amount back, and it sucks to work as hard as I do all year long and for them to take so much darn money. <laughs> oh, my God. And, you know, sometimes it feels like they don't give anything in return. <laughs> so it's like you're paying them to do nothing. But 
I'm sure there's lots of stuff that the tax money goes towards, but we'll call this all bet set. And we got dice out. That last one was a primer on the left side, a uh, single pitch towards us on the right side, which is a safe result for the cousin one set. Dice out. Dice kiss when they land and they split apart. Usually it's a bad sign, but this time we got a three, five, eight, another great eight. So that is an early dice repeat. Primer in the uh, left die, that's a uh, implosion on the right die. Good morning, David, checking in. SG must have hit the button three times because he has the same statement three times in a row. That's awesome. <laughs> no texting and driving, SJ. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, that was an eight. That was no help for us there. If we hit that four again, though, we will pick up that six and eight for uh, $18 each. Remember, my goal is to get to that five unit bet level, if you will. Um, and then once I get to that five unit bet level, that's when I start spreading out and across. Uh, but let's call that all bet set. Three, two, three, six is our dice set. And dice out. And we got a six, five midmo yo. That is Chiro coming to us from above. And all we need is that 10 and 9 to hit that tall. We need a 2 and 3 for the small. Three, two, three, six. So on my roll on Saturday, I got to the break-even point, uh, but nothing further than that. Um, there was one guy that was shooting his, um, who was a regular there, but it's kind of fun watching him. I know he does a throw, and I'm just going to do this really quick here. He does the whole, let me see if I can get the camera better. He does the whole wrist flick, and it has a nice little arc. It's actually really pretty to uh, to watch, um, but I don't recommend doing that because of that backward motion. I usually throw it right off the deck. But that 11 was no help for us, so let's go all bets out. We're up to 23 people on both Crapsy and YouTube. So that is awesome for a Monday morning. Dice out. Ooh, I held on to that just a split second too long. We got lucky. We have a 145, the trucking camper. That would be after our friend at Brian, Brian at Crapping Camper. Make, go, make sure you go check out his channel. Small channel, does some rollouts every so often, um, but very, very nice guy and a very big uh, supporter of our community here. So uh, anyway, we got a five on that one. That was our point. So we're gonna be looking for a new point. We are still on shooter number one for the day. That is awesome. And um, <laughs> S.J. goes, sorry about that. Not sure why it sent so many hellos. Hey, I just thought you're a happy guy this morning and you're just trying to say hello to uh, everybody, but no, no harm. <laughs> Good morning, Duracell checking in. And we're going to stick with that $15 pass line bet. Let's go all bet set. They saw it. And we got a, another 5-6 Midmo Yo. That is a come out pass line winner, a natural. So that's an extra $15 brought back. We'll stick with that $15 pass line bet. And we have $120 brought back to the rack, 70 on the table currently. And if I can pick up another 60 bucks here, we'll be at goal on this first shooter. That would be kind of a neat little thing, considering Friday was not so successful. 
And we got Cruz with Blake. Good morning, Cruz with Blake. And we'll go about set here. They out. So Cruz with Blake uh, saying hi there. And I was watching a live stream yesterday with, <laughs> since we're talking about cruising with Brian from Holy Roller. He took two of his sons on the uh, on his on this cruiser, and I did a live stream right from the ship. I think as they were uh, as they were taken off from port. Dice out. And we got a 5-4 hard nine, Big Daddy Mac. And that would be after Jeff from Mid-Atlantic Craps, who's in the chat right now. But I know they're taking out a port today, uh, yesterday, and I, I believe it's his son's birthday today. So happy birthday to uh, Brian's son's birthday today. Uh, it would be kind of neat to be able to bring your, your children with you um, like he did on a cruise and they both look i think his one was i don't know how old he was turning but he was pretty kind of a younger guy uh good morning brian flegel checking in uh from green bay so anyhow we have nine for a point we're gonna take the 15 dollars off the nine we'll put it over on the five and we'll call that all bet set that last one was a five four which is an explosion of that left eye it is not. It's a single pitch towards us. I'm sorry. Single pitch towards us and a double pitch on that right one. So ultimately, a single pitch of the dice. 3-2, three, 3-6, three, and they were on access. Dice out. Ooh, dice split apart when they left my fingers. We got lucky. Another 5-6 mid-mo yo. So that must be a repeater. Let's see. And that it is. It's a repeater win on that Midmo Yo. Shooter number one hitting the first repeater for us. All we're doing is we're looking for that 10 and we'll hit that tall. And I'm not going to really analyze that dice result because, like I said, they did split apart when I, when I released them. Uh, so that was not a normal, hopefully not a repeatable uh, result. So... That was no help for us. We'll go all bet set here and dice out. A little bit low on a trajectory on that one, but we have a 1 5 KitchenAid mixer. Again, that is another repeat dice result, dice combination. One of those a little bit earlier. So we are seeing some repeatability today, so that is a good thing. And um, that, again, was no help for us. <laughs> we need to get some more numbers covered here. If we get that six and eight covered, it'd be awesome. But the only way we're, we're going to do that is if we hit that, uh, that four at the current moment. Um, that was a... Uh, Implosion of the left eye. That was an implosion of the right eye. So double implosion once again. So keep it as it is. Both dice off axis. Three, two, three, six. All bet sides. I think I'm going to have to change the battery in my mouse pretty soon because it's not responding the way it should. Dice, they're not comfortable. Let's re grip them. And dice out. A little bit long on that landing zone. We got a 639 center field nine. So we hit another point. That is awesome. What I'm going to probably do is since we hit the five before we hit the nine this time, I'm going to probably make the five and nine look like a quarter when we get our new, um, our new point established. So that was an, uh, what was that? That was an or explosion of that left die. That was a primary on the right side. So that was one dice off axis. This is a safe result. We're going to be coming out looking for a new point. Still shooter number one. I'm sticking with that $15 pass line bet. And let's go all bet set. Dice out. <laughs> A 
veered off to the right a little bit. We have another 156 KitchenAid mixer. So six will be our point. This is our third unique point for this shooter. So let's keep that there. Uh, we're, I guess so we're gonna make that five and nine look like a quarter. So that way, hopefully we can uh, bring a little bit more money back here. Uh, and then hopefully if we hit now either the four, five, or nine, we can pick up that eight as well. 135 brought back to the rack. We have 105 on the table. Again, our goal is about $180 today. So if we can pull in another $55, that will be gold. And I'll pull all the money off the table. That is one of the uh, blue collar principles. Get to go or close to go. Pull that money off the table. Do not let the casino get it back. So let's call that all bets set here. And they sell three, two, three, six. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Ooh, that was a little bit of a wild hop there, but we have a 415 trucking camper again. Kind of a little bit, they both hit and they both kind of jump straight up a little bit. I know I did a few warm-up throws before I started today. I had one or two do that. Uh, the one almost flew up and up into the rack. It was kind of weird. Good morning, Nivaldo. We got Scott Schaefer checking in as well. But he is here. They are here. Um, so we're at 170 brought back. Let's pick up that eight for $18. And I think we can get one more outside hit. Actually, we get any number to hit, really, but outside hit, um, that should bring us to go for on this first shooter. And so 3236. That last one was a double pitch of the left die. That was a single pitch towards us on the right die. So it was a single pitch of the dice, ultimately. 27 people on Crapsy. We got 25 people on YouTube. 12 likes. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, please. And all bet set here. Thanks a lot. Ooh, super long on that. We got lucky. We got a 3-3 three, three hard six, the double D-Gen. So we hit another point. That's a three-point fire bet if there is such a thing. So hopefully we'll be looking for a fourth and unique point here. And that'll be bring us up to $185 profit today. So we are at goal. I'm going to pull all my bets off. And if I was at the table, I would, I don't know if I would do this, but I would consider passing the dice to the next person. I'm taking all my bets off. So I'm at goal. And I'm just going to keep on shooting for you guys today. That was a primary on top on both sides. So we're going to be um three two three six all bets set we're looking for that 10 for the tall we're looking for the two and three for the small here we go and we got a five four hard nine big daddy mac so nine will be our new point I think we had nine as a point one other time. So that we did. So that sucks. I was hoping for a fourth unique point. So we could work towards that four point fire bet. That would be kind of fun. I think I hit the um, four point last week. And I think I was working on the fifth one before we uh, got the seven out on that. Uh, but. Anyhow, we got no bets on the table. We have $185 brought back on the shooter, so I'm at goal for the day. And this is where I would consider that either a session for the day or the whole day. I'm not really sure. It depends on the day and how fast you get to that. Since it's the first shooter, I probably would just call that a session, take a little bit of a break, and they come back. So we got all bets set here. And dice out, three, two, three, six. Kind of jerked that one a little bit, uh, but we have a six, six, hard 12, the OMC craps, all the dots and all the spots. <laughs> the hard 12. And I think uh, KPI is messed up. Give me one second. Let me get 
Crapsy first, and then I will fix KPI. No, nope, that did come across. Okay. We're going to have to do, uh, have to be careful on the next one. So that one came across on KPI. On my side, it looks a little funky, the behind the scenes stuff where I enter the data. So, um, again, I'm not doing any bets at all. We made goals. So we'll be um, starting off tomorrow's bankroll at 2081. And that was a repeater win, by the way, on that one. So we have a repeater win on the 11. We have a repeater win on the 12. And we need two more sixes to get a repeater on that six. So all that set here, they out. Ooh, that left one stuck. We got lucky. We have a two, four, six. That is a Kevin the Carpenter two by four. Kevin was one of the early ones to check in today on chat. He's had a, he hasn't been here for a little while. I guess he's been uh, busy with work or something going on. So welcome back again. Three, two, three, six. And that last roll was a um, single pitch away on that left die, and that was a double pitch on the right die. So there's a single pitch ultimately, both dice on axis, and all bet set, dice up. Dice crossed a little bit. We have a one, three, four, big Joe from Crops Master Journey. So one, three, four. Wouldn't it be nice if all the rolls were this long? <laughs> that would be awesome. So three, two, three, six is what we're sticking with, which is the cousin one set. And we had a 1-3 that was an implosion of that left die and a primary on the right die, which is a safe result. So we have not had too many warning signs yet. And hopefully it stays that way. So we'll go all bets set here. They so. Did I split apart again when they left my fingers? We got a five, three, eight. I think what's happening is I'm at, when I'm releasing, I'm not releasing with that thumb, and the dice, my fingers are actually splitting them apart a little bit. And I'll explain to you in just a second what I mean by that. So what's happening is I, I'm gripping them, and then they're like splitting apart. Like maybe maybe it's my middle fingers releasing too soon. Maybe that's what it is. I think that's exactly what it is. That middle fingers releasing too soon, and I'm pushing with the thumb. So I need to make sure that that thumb drops out. That would be probably the best situation for us to do. And again, just small little things like that are, are things that you need to identify when you're shooting the dice or throwing the dice at wherever you're at, at home, on a table, whatever. So let's go all bet set here. And they saw it. And Scott Shaver's asking if Dursel's still in the Craps Nation tournament. He is. Him and his brother both are in the second round right now. They will probably make it to the third round. We have a bunch of people in here that are in the tournament that are still in the tournament. Jeff from Middle Atlantic Craps is still there. Um, Kevin the, uh, Smith is still in yet. We'll see if they all make it past this round, though. They saw it. And we have a 3 2 5 Justice 5. So hopefully you guys are all making mega bucks off of this on the Crapsy app. <laughs> that was a primary on the left side. That was a input or explosion on the right side. Safe result.
<laughs> Jeff, I think 11 will make it this round. Uh, I don't know about how much further, though. I do know that I threw a nine on the first round, did not even come close to making it to the second round. Uh, but there's some, quite a few people that are well under nine this, this round. So, again, it's the luck of the day. There is skill involved. There is practicing involved. But my opinion is you can have a hot roll or a cold roll, depending on when it is and what time. But everybody that's in there is are all decent shooters, so so I'm very happy for everybody. Three, two, three, six, and we have a one, four, five, another trucking camper. I know that. Three of the f top four from last year have been kicked out already. <laughs> I know that I've been kicked out. Um, toothpick Ted is probably not going to pass this round. Um, and Eddie is not going to pass this round either. Bird Dog 301. Uh, that was a repeater win, by the way, on that five. So we have now have got three numbers that have hit the repeater. We need one more, I think, for the six, and we need uh, two more for the nine. Those will be repeaters on those if we can hit them. So that is awesome. We'll go all bet set. So looking for that two and three, as well as that 10. They out. Nice landed. I don't know if you saw that. That was a perfect landing. Right in my landing zone, they were Tied up against each other, hit the wall, came off the wall really nice, and this is the result. <laughs> a perfect throw, and we got a three, four, seven. Ouch. And that's a double pitch of the dice. At least it looked perfect. Obviously, that was not a perfect result. It's a primary on the left side, double pitch on the right side. So that is where one, two of your sevens will show up on this 3V dice set. So I made go. I'm not going to be betting anymore. That was a great first roll. We had 24 rolls long. We had a 234 roll quality points. So, and that was 30, about a 30 minute roll. So, wow, that's awesome. Okay, so let's go all bets set here. We're going to go shooter number two. Let's see if we can continue this uh, longevity. <laughs> Uh, but we got 23 people playing at craps. You got 26 people watching, 17 likes. I do appreciate the thumbs up from everybody um, and to continue watching on a daily basis. So let's go all bet set here. And dice out. <laughs> David goes, no more perfect throws. Thank you, Wattage Live Craps. Thank you, Scott. Dice out. And that was another hot. Uh, I don't know if you guys are watching us. That was another really super tight throw. This time we got a 369 center field nine. So nine will be our new point. And this is the, was the first roll of shooter number two. Thank you, Roger. So again, I'm not going to do any betting here. We already made go for the day. So this is the benefit of everybody else. My across numbers now are at a plus 12. My inside numbers are now at a plus 18. Outside numbers, uh, which is the four, five, nine, and 10 are at plus five. Our field bets are at a negative five. So it's kind of interesting if you guys ever get a chance to go through and check some of these statistics out on Crapsy. And we'll go all bet set here. Dice out. <clears throat> Dice did split apart that time as they went through the air. And we got a two, four, six, the Kevin the Carpenter two way four. My mouse spun around. I hit it on the way through. Did 
Don't ever risk all your profits. Ah. <laughs> so. And if you do, don't tell the shooter. Hint, 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 David. <laughs> but anyhow, we're going to call this all that set here. And we'll go dice out. Three, two, three, six. That last one was a uh, single pitch on the left eye, double pitch on the right, single pitch ultimately. Safe result. They sucked. Ooh, that was kind of a high bounce. And there's one of the numbers we were looking for on that last shooter. Two and three, ace, deuce, Alfredo sauce. Some days I hit a ton of those. Other days I don't hit many at all. That was a single pitch on that left eye, single pitch on the right eye in opposite direction. So that was ultimately a double pitch. So that is a warning shot. And it paid off. That's good, David. <laughs> so let's go all that set here. Three, two, three, six. That last one was a warning shot. Uh, we had a double pitch, so we got to be careful with that. Days out. And we have a 415, another trucking camper. It has become a very prevalent dice result today. So again, like I said, we are seeing repeatability, which is a good sign, and they are all good numbers that we're repeating. <laughs> so that's a double pitch on that left die again. That was a single pitch on the right die, ultimately a single pitch of the dice. And we will call that all bet set here. They saw it. 50% locked up. That's good. I'm only going for 10% goals on, on the level up show right now. Um, 10 to 12, somewhere on that area. They saw it. Ooh, dice put apart. We got a 5 4 hard 9, Big Daddy Mac. So that was our point. We'll be coming out looking for a new point. I'm not known to hit my points repeatedly, but today has been a good set a point, hit a point day. We have an SOR of 14.50 right now. We have an SRR at the same number. And let's call that all bet set. Dice out. And we got three, four, seven on a come out. That's a pass line winner, natural. Double pitch of the dice. So this weekend I worked on the craps table again, um, on the craps table build, I should say. In fact, I only part of the craps table part that I did was, uh, was two weekends ago when I cut the rough cut the wood. And uh, this last weekend, as well as this weekend, I was actually working on the chessboard. And if you check my community tab, I uh, posted a picture this weekend. Good morning, Waylon. Posted a, a picture this weekend of what the chessboard kind of looks like. Um, I was going to keep that a secret while I was doing with it, but I actually decided to share the picture. Uh, so that if you guys are interested, make sure you check it out. And I uh, you know several people in here um, that are in the chat right now did contribute towards the stuff that is actually included in the chessboard. So make sure you check that out, guys. Uh, make sure you uh, make leave a comment and what you think. So we'll go all bet set here and dice out. I uh, have one video almost edited completely. Um, and I'm starting to edit the second video already. The second video I have uh, about... <laughs> about eight hours of content that I have to uh, edit down to about 20 minutes or so, maybe 20, 30 minutes. So that's going to be interesting to see how I do that. We have three, five, eight, a great eight. 
Primary on that left die, implosion on that right die, safe results. Good morning, Beth. I can't wait for the videos to come out either. Um, I'm actually trying to, um, I shouldn't say trying to, I have recorded pretty much every everything and just a question of how I'm editing it down, but I actually am working on trying to improve the quality of those edited videos. I want to have it so it's educational, entertaining, um, and something that people are going to like. And it's, I'm doing the same as what I did on my first build uh, as far as recording everything and editing it down so that way you guys can see step by step by step. Um, and I'm trying to be as detailed as possible, uh, but the graphics are better. The Hopefully the commentary is better. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put in background music in yet or not, but dice out. Three, two, three, six. Dice crossed right at the end. We have a one, four, five trucking camper again. And if you're new to the program, I announced my left die first, my right die second. And the black belt level here is about learning how to analyze the dice real time at the table. And we're spending the first 2,000 throws on the 3V dice. And we are getting close to the end of that. Um, but we got 3236. Biff is saying do segments. I am doing segments. Like I said, the first week, uh, I. I'm, act, I'm planning on doing, putting the videos out, but I'm gonna hopefully get the table done first and I'll do like the finished version first. And then I'm gonna come out uh, with the video that's almost edited second. And that'll be the, the purchasing of the wood and the, the rough cuts and all that stuff. Um, the third video will be the chess table, which is actually took a lot longer than I expected. I have, almost 12 hours just in building the chessboard. Um, that's how long it's taken me just to build that portion of the table. Uh, the rest of it hopefully won't take as long, but I'm sure it's gonna be, I'm gonna probably have in close to, and this is just a rough guess right now, probably 50 to 60 hours just in the build portion alone. Um, again, this is gonna be so, unlike anything ever, anybody's ever seen as far as a throwing and receiving station for craps. So maybe I'm going a little overboard, but I think it's fun. Dice out. And we have OMC craps, all the dots and all the spots again, midnight. So we're throwing that one quite a bit today, but we can't throw the magic aces, the sister side. I should call it a brother side because we got OMC craps and we got magic aces. Both of them are males. <laughs> so we should call them brothers. So three, two, three, six. Good morning, Dice Dr. Dan checking in. I am going to be trying to, I've never, I shouldn't say I never, I've never been to Vegas to gamble, Dan. I've uh, flown into the airport twice, uh, going to a destination and came back in on my return trip twice. Never left the airport. So, uh, but I will hopefully be coming down. I'm actually doing uh, extra overtime at work uh, for like six or seven weeks here to be able to afford the trip down to Vegas. So I will hopefully be coming down for the Craps for a Cure event this year, which I believe is going to be the weekend of October 19th, 18th, 19th in that area. Um, and I also heard that was also a weekend that they have the NASCAR race. So that's going to be an interesting uh, trying to get around for that. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more expensive that weekend because of that. Dice out. Ooh, the dice kind of rolled off. We have a 268. That is the Duracell 8. Go out, support free live craps. Give that thumbs up. We're deserved. And please consider subscribing. So that is the first Duracell 8 that we threw today. That is a something I normally throw on quite a uh, uh, regular basis. Good morning, John. 
So we got two within 12 that are brothers from another mother. <laughs> That's funny. So three, two, three, six. I'm not going to really analyze that last one because it really took off to the left. If you're just joining, we made a goal on the first shooter. I have not. I actually stopped betting halfway through that first shooter. And I, um, I have not bet at all during the second shooter. So just practicing the throws today. We got all bets set. And they saw this. Ooh, that left one kind of, or the left one went into the back wall, the right one kind of skidded in a little bit. 314, Big Joe from Wisconsin. So 314. We've thrown it a couple times. Jeff is in the chat yet, hopefully, and that's why I said the Big Joe from Wisconsin, because that's one of the things that he says, or he says the Big Joe from Kokomo. But obviously, we all know that that's the Big Joe from Raps Master Journey. I'm chatty as hell today, guys. I apologize. Um, <laughs> it was a long night at work, and I'm kind of slap happy right now. Uh, but we got 26 people playing at craps. We got 30 people watching today. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. And we'll go all bet set here. Day so. Ooh, kind of a high arc on that one. We have a 2-2 two -two Ian Double Deuce. Or 2-2, two -two, let's go on a cruise with Brian from Holy Roller. 2-2. So two -two. That's two fours in a row. So we made a point, and that was a Buckeye Buckshot on that one. Buckeye Buckshot. I haven't seen Buckeye Slim around for a while here, guys. He was over here every single day doing his bets and announcing it. So, anyhow, looking for a new point here. Still shooter number two for the day. And we've hit three points. So we're looking for a fourth unique point, hopefully. And we were looking for a fourth one on that first shooter as well. So this is a repeater day. It's a fire bet day. All bet set. So Dr. Dan says 2631 is the set for a two or a three. The <laughs> oh, says I should throw more when I'm slap happy. <laughs> nice out. A little short on that one. We have a 4-4 four, four heart eight square pair. So is that a unique point? It is not. Shoot. When I'm at the casino shooting, I don't talk at all. <laughs> yeah, Brian Fuego uh, can verify that. Uh, what I do is I get, I, uh, I do the Ed Robinson. I set my feet, I do not move them. I lean in and I keep my arm just over the edge of the rail. You can't see it on the camera, just over the edge of the rail. Um, I'll get my bets and everything in, and then I just sit there, and I put both elbows up on the edge of the rail, and I just stare down at the, wherever my hand is going to be when I, when I set the dice. And I don't talk usually. I usually don't do much. So John's going to go 660 for the guy just bought in mid-roll. Don't ice me, John. Dice out here. And we had a 6 4 10. That is Wayland's best friend, Wayne Eden. Daddy Joe, and that's the six, first 6 4 for the day. So you got lucky, John. Draw that puppy down for me. He's pressing. He's draw down. Don't press it. Draw down. <laughs> Three, two, three, six. And what was that last one? That last one was an explosion of the left die, double pitch of the right die. And let's call it all bet set. 28 people playing in Crapsy, 29 people watching on YouTube, 17 likes. They sucked.
And we got a 5-1 KitchenAid mixer. So why is it it goes in waves like this? Why do you have good rolls one day and the next day or two, <laughs> they're not so good? So, uh-oh, he's doing the, um, what is that called? Uh, with the four and 10. Ah, shoot, I forgot the name of that is, that the way of, of doing that. Um, I'll think of it. So let's go uh, all bet set here. The last one was a uh, explosion of our single pitch away on our right die and a single pitch towards ourselves with a double pitch of the dice, which is not a good shot. That's a warning sign. Okay, so. Another one, five, six, KitchenAid mixer. So that is um, the opposite this time now. This is, um, this one is an implosion, a double implosion of the dice. Three, two, three, six. A double implosion is a safe result. <laughs> 800 in the rack, back in the sack. So, all that set. That almost sounds like, and that, that's like a, a, a person of the past. Vince Armenti's wife, Sue, always hit his chips in her little sack, her little, uh, her little uh, fanny pack. He always talked about that. So, they saw it. He said that she'd hide all his black chips. Um, We left one stuck. We have another six four ten. Wayland's best friend, Wayne it in Big Ben. So we have a point of eight yet. So we have not hit that again. That was an explosion of the left die. That was a double pitch on the right die. Again, starting to see too many double pitching of the dice more than I would like to see. It was a straight out double pitch. That is a warning sign, but it is not. So we'll put dice out. So dice Dr. Dan is out. Also the $85 profit. That is awesome. They suck. Dice cross right down. We have a 5 5 hard 10, the Old Bay Bushel. So you look at these numbers, and that's definitely going to help us bring those black belt numbers up a little bit. Um, and again, when we get done here, we'll show you how far we are into the black belt. Again, we are only doing 2,000 throws on this 3V dice set. And then once we get to that 2,000 throw mark, we're going to switch over to the 2V dice set. And we'll do another 2,000 throws at that level. So let's go all bet side here. 28 people still playing at Crapsy. 30 people still watching on YouTube. We are now up to 18 likes. And they suck. Right one did not make it all the way down. We have a 6-5 mid mo yo. That is Chiro coming to us from above. And I think that might be the tall. Let's see. It is not. Darn it. Oh, oh. so close. What do we need to get that tall? We need the nine yet. So if we get that nine, then we'll get that tall. If we still, we need that two and three for the small again. Darn it. That's what we needed on that first shooter, get that small. But and we need the 10, I think it was for the for the tall on the first shooter. Yeah, Biff, um, usually the further down on the dice that you uh, place your fingers, you actually have more control when you put your finger your fingers down further, but you also have to be careful that pushing of the, of the thumb with that. That is 100% accurate in that. And that's something that George from uh, CY talks about, 
on a semi-regular basis. Um, he goes a little bit deeper with his uh, thumbs. I pretty much just take the top sliver of the dice. That's the way that I set them up. But again, yeah, three, two, three, six dice out. And we got a five, three, uh, grade eight, five, three, eight, grade eight. That's a number we've thrown a few times today. Thank you, Red. Oh, again, your first planting for the year. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully you have success and uh, trouble-free times today. So I know that around here, I think they're going to have a hard time with their crops this year because our waterfall was not nearly as much during the winter as what it has been in years past. Uh, so I think they're going to be hurting this year, farmers. So best of luck for everybody. They got three, two, three, six, day seven. And that is the... Oh, that's a come out roll. Wow. Okay. That's even better. We have a three, four. <laughs> that should be a pass land winner, a natural. I was going to say that was an out. That was a double pitch, by the way, the dice. So that's a warning sign. But that's a come out roll. So let's uh, keep the roll going here. We are on roll number 22 coming up here. Three, two, three, six is what we're going to stick with. Again, like I said, double pitch is a warning sign. So let's go all bets set here. And coming up, looking for a new point. So hopefully a five, six, or ten. And we got a nine. So that's what we needed for the uh, tall, wasn't it? But too bad we reset with that seven on the come out. So our new point is nine. Four thousand dozen at your road size. Wow, that's a lot of corn. A lot of ears of corn. That was a nine. We had a uh, explosion on the left eye, primer in the right side. So that was a safe result. And I know if I just threw that before, and that's the, the, the mean way that the dice roll. Alfredo talks about that all the time, about how the dice, you know, it happens more often than not. The number that you need is the next number that's usually rolled, either by yourself or by the next shooter. So dice out. A little bit of high bounce. We have a one, three, four, Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So four will be our, oh no, nine is our point. Four is just another hit. Again, I have not been betting for quite a while if you're joining in here. Um, we're going to continue the roll to the end of this roll, and it'll be done for the day. Remember, if you want to watch John's cough, uh, daily paycheck, he'll be starting up in about five minutes or so, five or six minutes. And let's call that all bet set here. Dice out. Dice landed, they split apart with a 6-5 Minmo Yo. And I used to throw a lot of those, and for a while here I've not thrown many, but today we've thrown a ton of them. That's five of them just today alone out of 48 throws. So roughly almost a tenth of them have been that Minmo Yo. We don't have any real strong standing out numbers other than that 12 hit a little bit more than normal today. Uh, but all the rest of them are kind of staying within within the realm. We still have not hit a two yet. Three, two, three, six, and all but set. 
Tai so. And we have a 415 trucking camper. Again, that was a double pitch on that left die. That was a single pitch on the right die towards us. Single pitch of the dice ultimately. Thank you, Scott. Have a good day. Enjoy. Thank you for stopping in. And let's go all but set here. Dice out. Three, two, three, six. And we have a two, three, five, Justice five. And that would be after Justice Jen. And that was a single pitch away on the left eye, primary on the right side. And still 26 people playing on Crapsy, still 26 people on YouTube, and all but set. There's a lot. Ooh, that was super long. We got lucky. We have a 5-4 hard nine, Big Daddy Mac. That was about three or four inches past my normal landing zone. I was looking at my table at the end there and um, um, kind of, Dan, probably about two thirds of the time they've been staying on axis, maybe a third not. And when it goes off axis, it's usually both of them going off axis. Uh, great question. Uh, but I've been looking at my landing zone and I'm starting to get some wear and tear in the table there. Uh, something I didn't think was happening, and all of a sudden I look, and there's just a lot of small little um, little white marks there. So thank you, Liedem. Have a good day, my friend. So we'll go all bet set here, and dice out. Three, two, three, six. And we have a 3-3 three, three hard six, the double degen. So six is the point. And this is our fourth unique point, so that is awesome. Let's see if we can hit that. Three, two, three, six. See if we can hit that four, uh, four point fire bet here. So let's call it all bet set. I know I'm kind of rushing some of these here, but it's getting to be the to end of my day here. It's time to go to bed pretty soon. Dice out. And we have another 134 Big Joe from Crafts Master Journey. So I wish I was betting today, <laughs> but we stayed true, we stayed disciplined. And this is what I do doing the casino. I get to go and I'm I'm gone. I'm gone. Like this week, this weekend I get the hundred dollars. My goal was actually one hundred seventy-five dollars. Uh, I even left before I hit my goal, which is which is um, a good sign of discipline, I I, I would think. So my goal is one hundred seventy-five. I left at a hundred dollars. So I was a little over halfway there. And uh, one seventy-five would have put me at a twenty-three percent. No, 26% um, uh, profit goal. So, and that $100 put me at, I don't know what that was, um, like 100, and that was like a, like about a 15% a maybe, I don't even know. So, they saw it. And we have another 6.5 mid mo yo. I think that might be a repeater again on the mid mo yo. Let's see. It is not. So, 
surprised though. I think maybe that last one was a repeater. I'm not sure. Yeah, I uh, you asked because of pair pair set, which is good for avoiding on. I'm using the three V uh, for this part of the series, Dan. Um, and the only way the seven will show up on a three V is if you double pitch if they're on access. And then you have the four three or the three four. Uh, so that's the only seven that shows up if you keep them on access. Uh, most of the sevens will show up if you have one off axis and then the other one single pitches either away or towards you, depending on which uh, three V you're using. That's that'll determine which seven will show up that way. So either the five two or the six one will show up that way. So three two three six they out. Ooh, dice bounced high. We got another uh, KitchenAid mixer, one, five, six. I have had a lot of uh, one dice off axis today, uh, but the other one stays primary. So that's a good, a good thing happening. Three, two, three, six. We're going to be going on roll number 32 for the day. Where are these rolls when I'm at the casino? That would be so wee. So still 23 people playing. We need a 10 and 12 for the tall yet. We need the 2 and 3 for the small yet. This 2 and 3 has been avoiding us on those, on those smalls. Still on shoot number 2 for the day. And we'll go all bet set. First shooter went about 30 minutes. We are in 37 minutes right now on that second shooter. And that is uh, come out seven. <laughs> hey, we hit that four point fire bit, didn't we? Wow, that's awesome. Come out seven, four, three, seven. Double pitch of the dice. I didn't even realize that we hit the point on that last one. So it's a pass line one or a natural. Stick it with a 3236. So if we can hit the 5 or the 10, that'll be uh, working on that 5 point fire bet. And I'll bet set. Days out. Another come out seven four three seven. That's ruining my SRR. <laughs> that SRR was going good for the day. That just shot it right down. Four three seven. Come out winner. Pass lane winner. Natural. So we were talking about that double pitch, and look what happens. This table does have ears. So 23 people still playing, 21 still people still watching, 22 likes. Wow, that is awesome. John probably started his coffee and uh, his, uh, his daily paycheck show right now. So if you do need to scoot off and watch that, that would be fine. Or if you need to go about your day, that's fine also. I do appreciate the support of everybody so far. Five, six, Midmo Yo. That is true, coming to us from above. Oops, that was a 5-6, by the way. And that was another camo winner, pass line, natural. Still look for a point here on shooter number two. Three, two, three, six. And we got all bets set. They sucked. Two, one, three uh, would be the Alfredo sauce. So that is a pass line loser this time. So can we get a fifth point established here? 
Time will tell. Three, two, three, six. All bets set. Back is getting a little sore here. And we got a three, six, nine center field nine. So the primary on the left side, single pitch on that right side. And we'll call it all bet set here. They suck. We'll little short in the landing zone. That right or left eye took off on us. Two, one, three. Ace, deuce. Now it'd be a little bit of sauce. So look at the quality difference in the roll here of the second roll compared to the first roll. First roll, we had 234 roll quality points because of all those repeaters. This one, we have got 13 rolls more. And we're <laughs> not even half, not even half on the roll quality. That's interesting. Three, two, three, six. Very interesting. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, field numbers, I think, and it's a lot of horns on this on this roll, though. So, all but set. They saw three, two, three, six. Cousin one set. And we have a two, three, five. That dice line a little short. That right one split off right to the right. Left one did make it all the way back. Two, three, five. Three, two, three, six. The last one was a single pitch and a primary. Single pitch on the left, primary on the right. And we'll call this all bet set. They saw it. Another three, two, five, Justice five. Again, today, I think the success kind of revolves around the repeatability. We've been getting some very good repeatability and vice results. Um, even the throws feel pretty comfortable when I'm throwing them as far as the repeatability and, and the range of motion I'm going through and all that type of stuff. <clears throat> so let's call that a all bet set. They sucked. Another one four five trucking camper. So the sister number is the point. Three, two, three, six. And I'll bet set. And we got a four two six, the Kevin the Carpenter two a four. And I am approaching, I don't want to say it, so I will say it yeah. at the end of this roll. But I am approaching something. Three, two, three, six. Sticking with the same. I'm not even analyzing the dice anymore because these are going very comfortable. Can 
good rolls out of it. Thank you, Roger. All that's set. Say something. Another 426, Kevin a Carpenter 2A4. Focus here. I need at least four more throws here. At least four more. And I'll bet set. Three, three, hard six, a double D gen. Where were these rolls when I was doing the shooter competition, people? <laughs> that would have been nice. So, all bet set. It's the cousin one set, three, two, three, six. Oh, we got lucky. Two, one, three, ace, deuce, Alfredo sauce. So that's a repeater win on that three. So that's where some of the points start stacking up a little bit here. We need the two and four for the small. We need the eight, nine, and 12 for the tall. Okay, that's that. Six two eight Duracell eight. Go out support free live craps. And I believe. And this is where um, <laughs> I was kind of waiting here. I believe this will tie my personal record for a live roll as far as on camera. So this will be a tie, I think, for my, for my personal record. So if we can get past this one, I will set a new personal record today. So we'll all bet set. And they saw this. Damn it. <laughs> this is a tie for my record. <laughs> Three, four, seven. Ouch. Damn it. I had to say it. I had to say it. Ah. Well, I'm happy with that roll, but I wanted to get a new record. <laughs> so that is awesome. Okay. Let's go through our statistics for the day. I do appreciate everybody that has stuck uh, through to the end here. We only had two shooters today. We had a 24 and a 46 roller. Uh, look at the roll quality points difference. We had uh, almost twice as many rolls in that second shooter, but the quality of the roll was not there as far as at least the first one was. But we have a 35.0 SOR, 11.7 SRR, four come out sevens. Box numbers are a little bit high today. Inside numbers are high. Fours and tens are low. Come out sevens are high. Horns are high. Fields are expected and hardways are low today. Strong numbers today were the five, six, and 11. So let's look at our statistics. And this is through the end of last week, Friday for the black belt. And I know we're kind of um, off, the display is a little bit off today, but we've got 
1,479 throws on black belt so far. So we have about 500 more throws left to hit that 2,000 more for the 3V. But anyhow, we have an SOR right now of 9.58, SRR of 6.56, a BSR of 6.61, and that is through the end of last week Friday. We'll add in today's statistics when we come back tomorrow. But guys, thanks for joining us, uh, joining me today. Thanks for hanging out as long as it went. Um, I will be back tomorrow, and hopefully everybody will be here as well. My name is Joe. This is my Craps Master uh, Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours too. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow.